<laughs> Hello. Are you ready to become a unicorn Rapunzel? <gasps> Oh my god, baby, <laughs> look at this hair. Is this not the most beautiful, beautiful hair you have ever seen, even before we dye it? All oh, these beachy waves. Oh my god, if my hair grew like this kind of waviness and this thickness and... I would probably have long hair. I mean, oh my God, oh my God. I actually, when I first got this hair, I was planning to wear it blonde for a while, but my hair did not bleach well, as I showed you in the last transformation. It came out looking like a toilet brush. So uh, we are going straight to colors with this because yes, finally, finally, I have extensions, extensions to dye to match me. So hopefully, hopefully by the end of this video, I am going to be... Ah, oh, ah, oh, a cotton candy beach swoosh god unicorn. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do this that I'm trying to do it despite being completely knackered. I feel like I haven't slept properly in weeks, but nonetheless, I am excited to do this video and I am going to power through but this may be a little bit waffly disjointed and blah because I am running on about 5% brain power right now, so a disclaimer. But anyway, what has happened, and this is this is such like magical, oh my god, are these people psychic? Um, basically, as soon as I dyed my hair from black to colours a year ago, I really wanted a set of gorgeous blonde hair extensions to dye to match me because I do have a set of long black hair extensions that I used to wear a lot when my hair was black and I absolutely love them. I will put up some pictures. That's my hair as it was black without the extensions and this is what it looked like with the extensions and I loved those babies. They looked so natural with it being human hair. Obviously it looks natural in all lighting. You don't get that shiny thing you get with wigs. Um, I also love the fact that because it's human hair, you can scent it with Bee Pal hair glosses, and I love those things, and oh, having these long tresses that just smell like red musk and sex and graveyard dirt, oh, I loved it. And uh, also, wigs compared to hair extensions, anyone who's worn wigs will know it is hot in there. It is like wearing a woolly hat all the time. It's not what you want to be doing in summer. Also, wigs, long wigs, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, much as I adore particularly my long black wig, it's the one wig I really, really wear a lot still. Um, but that wig, it is very heavy because it's so long and it's fake hair and it's very thick. It is heavy and after a few hours I tend to start getting neck ache. Like I, I have a very, a very small neck. That's, that's about the circumference of my neck. I have a tiny neck and I can't really be holding up heavy hair for very long. Whereas with, with weft extensions, it's all very light. And also moving around in clubs. If you're wearing a wig, you don't really want to be in a club and start swishing your hair around too much because it's going to shift and it's going to move. And it might even, you might even get your wig snatched unless you go for like tape and glue and all the things that I haven't learned about yet. So that much as I do adore wigs, there are downsides. Um, and hair extensions are gorgeous but my black ones my black ones are like top quality hair I adore them and it's probably likely that at some point I will have black hair again so I didn't want to fuck with those I didn't want to bleach them risk damaging them I thought let's just just keep them black for the inevitable day that I go back to black but um back in black um <laughs> but yes yeah, so I wanted some blonde hair extensions and what my dumb ass did a few months ago is I impulse bought a set of blonde hair extensions from Rose Gal. Uh, Rose Gal discount clothes site and I like some of their clothes I've done a haul of their clothes before they do a lot of good clothes particularly good plus size clothes but as far as things like hair and wigs and stuff like that they are not a specialist right they just do whatever's coming in cheap at the moment and it wasn't even that cheap I spent about 40 maybe even 60 pounds idiot 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 on this hair from a non-hair specialist doing cheap things and as you can probably guess the, the hair when it came was horrible quality you know when someone is determined to grow their hair but their hair is very 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 unhealthy and damaged and like it's thick here and then it frays and all you've got at the bottom are like wispy damaged like fraying split-ended cotton candy mess that is what the hair was like i tried dyeing it anyway there was 
there was no saving it. It went in the bin. And after that, I was just like, I, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go for this hair. And then, with psychic grace, VP Fashions reached out to me and said, would you like to do, would you like to do a collab? Clearly my crazy, my crazy hair has gained me the attention of people who also like crazy hair. And that's really cool. They sent me a pack of 20 inch hair extensions. Now this is not quite the true color. I will show you the one straight from the box. I've done some slight toning on this to uh, kind of cool down the gold tones a little bit, which is also why it's so wavy because I washed it and I let it dry naturally and oh baby, that's the way to go, isn't it? But uh, yes, yeah, so these are, ah, these are 20 inches, which is long, it is long. And, um, but what, uh, there was like a lot of back and forth because I didn't know what I was talking about. They asked me about how many grams I needed in hair and I was like, <gasps> I don't know these things. I don't know these things. So anyway, they sent me one pack, but unfortunately because of the fact that my hair is so short, like I think most people who wear extensions, their hair is a bit longer and they just wear the extensions for extra length. However, with me, obviously, because you know my hair when it's in extensions really you don't see any of it so all you see in terms of thickness and body is the extensions so if i had have thought about this more i probably would have said i needed a bit more hair but anyway they were amazing about this and they sent me a second set and i want to say a huge huge thank you to laura at vp fashions for being so patient with me not knowing what i'm doing it has been lovely they have been absolutely absolutely lovely but um so basically what i am going to be using for this dyeing now i'm going to use one full set which is i've got the info here i will leave all the info in the drop down so you have an eight piece set um and then what i'm also going to use is the equivalent of a volumizer set they do these sets that basically i think think give you just one piece of like one of the full length big pieces so that you've just got like an extra an extra bit to put in as extra thickness so I'm gonna dye one full set and then I'm also gonna dye two volumizer pieces just in case I need them probably one will be plenty but more is always more I feel like with hair thickness while I'm doing it might as well be on the safe side so uh, to show you all the things you get because it's all rather swanky you get your nice box with your lovely holographic shiny thing on the front and uh, in here genius things I mean like say my did I tell you my black extensions they weren't even proper kit extensions with uh with all the clips on them and everything when I bought my black extensions I just bought a big 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 like I don't know like a meter long or something sheet of hair it wasn't cut it didn't have clips on so I did all the cutting and the clip sewing myself which I think saved me a bit of money but I think these days because this was about a decade ago I've had those black extensions for a decade and now that kind of hair extensions and wigs and things have become so much more of a thing in the Instagram generation um honestly it's so easy to get ones with the clips sewn on already because believe me it's a pain in the asshole doing all the clip sewing um uh, uh, and my sewing's not good some of them fell off etc so uh yes with clips on is great they give you a few spare whiff weft clips in case you feel that you need more or any fall off or anything um they also give you and i think this is genius dude i think this is genius they give you this lovely bag to put your hair extensions in, but the clever part is that it comes with this hanger. So you've got this hanger that you can open up, you can clip it into, and then it holds tight. And you can hang this up. And this is so clever because I shit you not, like I said, I've had my black extensions for a decade. They are still living over there on a desk underneath a paperweight not exactly ideal right so this this whole pack is so swizzy and so fantastic so anyway this is the hair that i have done nothing with this is the stuff i'm not going to use just my extra bits at the moment but you can see when you first get it it's very 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 straight and glossy it's really interesting that yes my one seems to be really oh i love the beachiness of that when you let it dry naturally obviously yes you can straighten it back to that because it is human hair so you can style it as such but 
Oh, check that beachy wave out, hello. But um, you can see the color difference. I mean, I have not done a great job of toning this. It's a bit patchy, but hey, I'm gonna be doing streaks anyway. It doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. But uh, you can see the color difference between this that I haven't toned versus this that I have toned, that my one concern was that obviously this, compared to my hair, it is a darker blonde and it's a much more golden blonde than what I get. And I think the reason for that is that most really good quality hair extensions, they tend to be kind of Indian or Asian type hair because those guys just have the best hair in the world. It's so thick and so straight and so shiny. Um, but the trouble is if you want to bleach that, it's not going to come up as pale as kind of my hair because my hair's like sort of quite light brown naturally and it does bleach incredibly light so I was a bit worried if I put my pastels particularly the pink over this you can see if I combine these two colors I'm gonna get a really icky peach so yesterday what I did was I just toned this slightly with some purple shampoo I'm using Fanola no yellow shampoo at the moment which I think is really good um, but it just it just takes out some of that goldenness and anyway I have talked forever without actually getting some hair dye going so let's to oh my goodness it's gorgeous if I screw this up I'm gonna cry for a week <laughs> please let this go well oh oh my god oh my god seriously is that not just the sex that wave did I envy the hell out of anyone whose hair does this when they dry it naturally I think you are beautiful <laughs> but anyway okay let's get into the bathroom and start dyeing and I hope I've got enough tinfoil to put all this hair on because there's a lot of hair and it's very long but okay see you in the bathroom let's go okay so here are our dye mixes we are using all directions carnation pink there which you can see I haven't watered down that much it's pretty pale anyway but uh you seem to get like a slightly cooler tone if you kind of water it down then I've got lagoon blue which I've watered down a lot this color is really strong but you can get a pretty pastel out of it too and then I've got violet which is this one which again obviously that is that is watered down a lot but I love that it can go from like grape to this really lovely lavender. Uh, I've used more than a full bottle of Pantene conditioner um, in these because, and I don't even know if this is gonna be enough. I may have to go up the road and get more conditioner because there's the hair. <laughs> this is the floor of hair. There's a lot of hair to do. And uh, I've never dyed this much hair before in one go. Uh, I feel like I don't have enough here. So this may be more than one day's job now I'm looking at it. But uh, let's hope for the best. Off we go. <laughs> This is exhausting. Sitting on the floor here, I am getting the worst backache and I'm also worried that I am running out of dye. I don't think I've got enough dye to do all the hair, possibly. I'm certainly going to have to go and get more conditioner. But either way, what I've decided to do, I've done about a third to maybe half of the hair but I am concerned that possibly the colours aren't strong enough to colour up, to cover up the goldenness in it, particularly the blue combined with the yellowy golden. I'm worried it's going to go a funny shade of green. So right now I'm thinking, hey, let's not sit here breaking our back and using up all the dye when potentially this isn't going to work. So what I've done, I've put the bits that are done, I've left them there in the sun so that hopefully they get cooked a little bit um, and that will help the dye take. So I'm going to leave it, I guess, about an hour, hour and a half um, and then I will rinse that off. Um, and dry it and see how it's looking before continuing any further. Um, honestly, I probably should have just done a tiny strand test before even doing this, but you know, I do have a tendency to jump in with the dye. I'm not, I'm, I'm not much of a strand test person. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I have got backache and I want something to eat. So, uh, see you later. Welcome back. It's a week later and I look like a foot, but we're going to film today anyway because I finally have the hair dye. Yes, I was right in my assumption that I was not dyeing it 
strong enough. It came out kind of watery. This is the bit that came out the best. This was like the darkest dye. I think I didn't mix the dye very well because some of it came out really silvery. This bit came out kind of cute. I mean, with, with the rest of my hair, it will be kind of cute, but in places like in reality it looks kind of wishy-washy and washed out and greyish and I'm glad I stopped but I had to get more dye because I'm gonna have to use the pink dye more or less uncut I'm gonna have to just use the pink dye with only a smidge of conditioner in oh my god do I have conditioner I hope I do um <laughs> but I had to get more pink dye and uh, so that took days to come then it was one of those where the postman misses you you get the sorry I missed you card you have to go and pick it up the next day well I did that uh, I went to pick it up the postwoman brought me a package, she double checked my postcode, she gave me the package. I went home, I thought, I won't open it in the car, I will be good and patient and wait until I get home to see what this is, just in case it's something different apart from dye. I got home, went to open it and realised this is not my fucking mail. She had given me the mail of some, <laughs> some random guy called James who lives in the next town over and uh, yes, I had to take it back and trade it for my own package, which was my hair dye. So anyway, end of long rambly story, I have my hair dye. So uh, back to dyeing now. I'm gonna have to dye my own hair as well at some point because this has faded all the way through cute and ice creamy into, oh, what the fuck is going on with your hair? But uh, anyway, right, mix up dye, dyeing, take two, a week later. <laughs> Well, we are finally done. My God, I am so stiff from sitting here on the floor doing this. This is definitely not the way to do an enormous amount of hair. My God, but it's looking quite good, particularly the bits that weren't dyed before are looking quite kind of candy rainbow. I'm liking it. So I'm gonna let this sit for, I don't know, I guess about an hour and a half and then I will wash it off. I'm going to wash it off and give it a bit of a shampoo this time because leaving it sitting in conditioner last time it made it a bit sticky since I just rinsed it out so I will shampoo it slightly with a oh my god have I got enough shampoo my god you have to be like so pre-planned for this much hair I hope I've got enough shampoo to shampoo it all um with like a mild color protect shampoo and then I'm just going to leave it to dry overnight so actually it does not matter about dyeing this until tomorrow but hopefully I will awake tomorrow to lots of lovely beachy wave candy coloured hair that's what I'm hoping so <gasps> see you tomorrow I guess bye <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Awkward narration here. <laughs> I fucking hate doing these things. But um, yes, I just want to disclaim before I show you this. It, I, I got very excited. I got I got very excited. I put all the hair on my head and I went out and I flounced. However, it had been a very 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 long time since I put in extensions, and things are a lot harder when the colours are light. I'm only used to black and in, in with black extensions you can fuck it up as hard as you like and it's still gonna look fine lighter hair is more translucent and you need to be a bit more artistic about it so I definitely needed to cover the top wefts a bit more with my own baby hairs because you can see the weft a little bit it's annoying from the sides but uh and I also needed to clip back my own hair on the underneath a little bit I forgot the little the little tweaks of artistry that make it look so good so next time <laughs> next time I I wear them I will uh, just just tweak my baby hairs more if I can't make that flawless I will do a bit of a French braid with some of my own hair and some of the uh, extension hair to cover those wefts and yes I will get some clips to clip back my own under hair so you don't see that poking out but uh, with that said I'm going to shut up and go away and leave you to uh, my flouncing right bye-bye uh, uh, bye-bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the big reveal? <gasps> oh my god! 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 I am 
a fucking fairy mermaid. Oh, oh, this has gone so well. Unfortunately, my own hair, I've washed it a couple of times since I did the dyeing, so my own hair is looking a little bit pasty by comparison to the hair, but oh wow, oh my God, I left it braided. I braided it all um, and left it for a couple of days and now it's like it's got its waves to perfection. I'm going to put some hair tinsel in it at some point but I put this on and it's such a lovely day. I was like dude I don't want to dick around for ages with hair tinsel. Um, I just want to get out, get out of the house into the pretty graveyard beneath my favourite graveyard tree with the hair but yes I will show you a bit of prancing around with the hair because it's so freaking beautiful. But uh, so yes yeah, so I've got everything everything I dyed is on my head so that is uh, one of the full packs <laughs> like I say I'll leave the full details in the description box but it's one of the full I believe 20 inch packs with what would be two volumizer packs is what I've got in and you can see it's, it's like it's pretty crazy thick like I've still got a big a big hank back here this isn't like all of it over my shoulders like cheating it is it, it is everywhere it is super big and super full as for how you make it look reasonably convincing with short hair. Uh, what I do, I tie up this piece above my head um, while I'm putting in the layers so I can go layer, layer, layer. And it's, it's pretty, um, it's pretty obvious what you're doing that you know you're, you're taking the pieces that are the size to go at the nape of your neck and then up and then between your ears and then I take with with this with this hair anyway I took one of the bigger parts across here from like the front of my hair to here so I've got two of them one there one there and then the same here and then some little little pieces here for extra streaking um but the main thing i've got one of those bump it things that were like super fashionable years ago um you know they're, they're basically like a curved plastic thing the shape of your head so you you back comb the top of your hair you put this plastic lump on your head and kind of comb it over and then i comb back the bits of my own hair stupidly i forgot to buy any blonde um you know hair, hair bobby pin things is that the right word are they called bobby pins or have I just been calling them bobby pins in my life? You know, the little, the little sliders, the little sliders. So I've had to use my black ones, unfortunately. And then what I've done at the back, this could be a hot mess. I haven't actually checked this in the mirror. But what I like to do at the back with hair extensions is I've got a big silver clip and I stick that. Uh, uh, uh. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> I stick that into the back of the last hair extension. And then I think, I think... I think it covers most of the the like uh, 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 the wefty bits, um, and then it it looks it looks okay, I think. But uh, people aren't staring at the back of your head too much, so I don't tend to be too perfectionistic about the back of my head. So long as so long as everything else looks good, I did give it a little bit of a trim when I first tried it on the other day, just because um, I feel like when you're putting it in, even if it's exactly the same length, because you're putting it in at different heights on your head, you can end up with a bit of a wispy look at the bottom. So I have trimmed it just, just, you know, a smidgen. Like I'm, I'm not good at long hair trimming because I haven't had long hair in a decade now, literally exactly a decade. Um, so, so I just, just with a pair of scissors, just hacked off any little wispy bits. Um, but obviously now I've put it back on again, the wispy bits are slightly different, but I feel I quite like it looking a bit, a bit kind of chaotic and mermaidy. but dude, dude, seriously, I have not felt this pretty in so long. I had forgotten how lovely hair extensions <gasps> feel. Mind blown. I've just realized I haven't used my Bipal hair gloss on this because this is the the really big fun of hair extensions over wigs to me is that Bipal hair gloss is made for natural hair. If you put it on a wig, it, I think it would just look greasy because it, it wouldn't absorb. But um, hair gloss, they do the most amazing scented hair glosses and they're not so great for use with short hair because they can weigh it down and make it look greasy. Whereas in long hair, you can spray it on a brush and brush it in and then your hair smells godlike every time you move there's like this cloud of godlike smell around you and i've got ones that smell like graveyard dirt that smell like black leather the oh i've got these sexy sexy hair glosses and uh, that's the beautiful thing about hair gloss about hair extensions that you can scent them and you can waft around in this I, I can't even fit myself in the screen man <laughs> Let me shuffle back. Let me shuffle back. Let me shuffle back. There we go. There we go. Now I fit. Oh my goodness. But oh, and it feels so nice too. It feels so nice. 
Anna, and I think it's going to hold these waves quite well as well because it's slightly naturally wavy hair. Um, although I, I did straighten it the first time I tried it out, it was it, it had just been drying on the floor, so it had natural waves and it looked a bit kinky and weird. So I straightened it out and it did straighten beautifully. So it, it styles really nicely. This that yes, all I did was braid it. I braided it dry. I sprinkled a bit of water on it and then I left it braided, but. You can see this bit, oh, I'm so in love. So I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to Laura at VP Fashions. And also the reason I have had to hold off until now today to give you this video is that they have a sale on at the moment. So if you go over there, there's a sale on. So they told me, they told me hold off with the video till our sale is on and then, uh, you know, which I think is a good thing because I would feel a bit crappy actually if I'd put this video up and be like, hey, go buy the things and then like five days later there's a sale and, uh, and it's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I just like swindled you out of money because I didn't know there's a sale. So they told me there's a sale, there is a sale, go forth, there is a sale. But uh, yes, thank you, huge, huge, huge thank you to Laura at VP Fashions for reaching out and for being so patient with me because yeah, I was ill and then the weather has been naff and I kept saying, I wanna come outside in them, I wanna film them outside in, in the beautifulness, in the beautifulness, because they're, they're too pretty to be sitting in a bedroom just you know just just like oh here's me this big no you need to see the full glory of them so anyway I am a good a flout about a little bit Anna, and sit here and read because my god it is it is nice to be out of the house where people aren't crashing around shouting about should Harry Potter go upstairs or downstairs it's a children's book but adults read it where does it go in the filing system I don't care I don't care out here Listen to the birds, listen to the wind, listen to the silence. Oh, it's so nice, but uh, yes, oh my God. Haven't felt this pretty in so long. Feel like a magical creature, gonna be wearing these a lot of these things. They're gonna be with me for a long time. But yes, as far as installation, I feel like I'm, I'm waffling at you for a very long time. I can't see how long I've been waffling on the screen because I'm far away. But um, yes, as far as installation and everything, putting them in takes like really no time at all. I'd say about 15 minutes, including a bit of crimping of my own hair and everything. It's really not a major hassle to get them in. I mean, obviously if you were putting them in and then curling them and everything, like that's gonna be more of a thing, but I don't know about that. Like I'm not good at styling long hair. Braiding it is, is about the extent of my talents, but, um, but yeah, it doesn't take long to saddle up really with all of this, it doesn't take long. And, uh, away you go and oh my god yes bitch yes bitch i'm gonna be in these quite a lot i was hoping to hold off on wearing these on youtube until you saw this video but i haven't got that kind of willpower so i think i probably am gonna be in videos in these before you see this but then then i could say hey i'll tell you about them soon when the sale's on so there's my excuse there's my excuse for having crap willpower and not being able to hold off making videos of this because seriously I feel so cute I feel so cute oh, oh, oh yes thank you thank you very much Laura thank you 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 I love these I love these and I can't wait to go home and put some hair gloss in them and make them smell like ooh, ooh I don't know what for in summer I've got like a honey one that's like frosty sparkly honey that might be nice in summer although the bees might chase me so maybe not but uh Oh, uh, graveyard dirt, maybe, I don't know, but yes, feeling super cute. And uh, yes, the sale is on, I do recommend it. And, uh, and yes, as I say, as far as the durability of hair extensions, my black ones, as I said before, I think, um, I have had them, yeah, for a decade now. They're a decade old, they are still in great condition. Um, obviously those ones I've never dyed, but I have straightened them and crimped them and things so that they've had quite a bit of abuse and they aren't well kept either. They are just on my desk underneath a paperweight. So, you know, they're, they're getting like dust, they're getting people brushing past them and things all the time. Uh, I've washed them and things a lot of times um, and they've stood up to the abuse great. So hair extensions, unless you're gonna be like repeatedly bleaching them and things, they, they do last a long time. So you have an investment that, oh, and they do. Compared to wigs and things, they feel so much lighter, so much airier and more natural. I don't feel like I'm cooking in here. I don't feel like I've got a woolly hat on the way I do with a wig that I wore. I wore a wig about two days ago. And even though it was a short one, 
like when I took it off the heat inside the wig cap was just like wow this is like an oven no wonder I've been kind of grumpy <laughs> um whereas this you know like natural hair I think I think kind of air goes through it and obviously it's clipped in sections so there's there's airflow and it's just lighter and uh, and it feels more like your own you don't you don't feel like neck achy like you would with a wig of this length so yeah I love it anyway I'm going to shut up and go away now and prance around like a mermaid unicorn fairy <laughs> okay bye bye <laughs> do you see the foxy there's a little foxy watching me actually there's a whole family of foxes but i have been out foxed every time i pull out my camera they disappear like that it's like you're pointing potentially a gun at me it's like dude well i suppose i suppose people do shoot foxes in this country so i guess it's not a totally wrong country fear to be shot if you're a fox but there's a whole family of them there was a whole family of them coming out of there and now they're roaming around there and i just heard one of them throwing up <laughs> it's magical it is though dude look at that blue sky i've just been watching these clouds just drift across here over here it's so beautiful there's just wildlife galore, there's just squirrels and birds and everything. And it's so completely peaceful. It's peaceful and magical. And I'm sitting in it with my swishy hair feeling super, super magical. And, uh, and I've got my shoes is off. My shoes is off. <laughs> and having a magical, magical day every time I come here to film. And then I just hang out for a while. It's just like, wow, this is like the bestest life. This is the bestest life, it's so nice. <laughs> you just feel like your soul has had a bath every time you come here. It's lovely. And I feel I feel super swishy. I keep I keep seeing my my shadow. My shadow is like super magical, super magical and spooky with its its spooky flowing hair. And uh, <laughs> spooky flowing hair and spindly arms. And uh, <laughs> I'm having a nice time. I'm not leaving anytime soon. I don't even know what the time is, but I'm not going yet. <laughs> Check me out. I'm being sexy in the woods. Oh, I'll oh, toss your hair like a fairy. Oh, it was fated to be the wind. It rises, it blows back your hair, and you know, you know you look like you're in a music video. And, and then the camera says, fuck you, fuck you. I'm going to go smudgy. I can see you trying to be sexy. I'm just going to make you a big smudge. Fuck you too, camera. Look at me. I'm going to frolic. I'm going to frolic. I'm in focus now. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Toss your hair. Toss your hair. Nothing could... Oh, shit. There goes the comb. No, shit. It's all going wrong. Ah, that's better. Nice recovery. Spooky hair flicking. Oh, yes. Look as smug as you possibly possibly can. Self-satisfied expression. Yes, yes, we know how to model. We know how to look smug. Yes, we do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Toss your hair. Oh, yes. Self-satisfied expression. Straight at the camera. Bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Toss that hair one more time for good effect. And I think we are done for the day. Time to go home. Smoke a joint. Yes. Oh, there we go. Aren't I good at narration? I told you I was. I told you I was well good at narration. I think one day someone's going to employ me to commentate on the sports. I think I'd be very good at it. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go away now. guess I'll leave you to it. I quite, quite enjoy narrating, actually, when, when it doesn't have to be good. And it's five o'clock in the morning. And there are people probably watching this not at five o'clock in the morning.